Hello everybody, welcome back to OGT's National Education Cycle and I'm going to be your fastly Alex and for this uh, session we're going to be talking about how to sell OGT based on personas or customer personas or buyer personas, however you want to call it. So the flow of the session is we're going to first explain what our buyer persona is and about Poland's customer personas and then we're going to be doing persona based selling, so how to sell based upon the persona. So, excuse me. Poland's customer personas. So to learn, before we learn more about Poland's customer personas, we have to understand what a customer persona is. So it could be called either a customer persona or a buyer persona. Essentially, a persona is a semi-fictional representation of our ideal customer for GTA, GTE, and GV based on market research and data um, about our existing partners. Buyer personas is the most important details about our customer and will help us target them better through the content that we create. So it's essentially, it's a perfect representation of our customer, right? And we have different types of buyer personas based on different types of customers that we may have. Of course, it's not made of every single customer that we have, but if we create a bunch of clutters of different types of customers, so let's say we've noticed that there's six different types of customers, so we have six different types of personas, right? And to learn more about the personas, you can actually learn more by checking out B2C's neck. Okay, and actually, if you click this bit.ly right here, you can it will bring you to our personas. So you can see all of OGX, but the most important for us is OGTA and OGTE personas. And the way, as you can see, it's split. It's between short and midterm, and mid and long term. So that's something that we've determined that those are the kind of personas we have. And for OGTA, we have it for BABD, for marketing, and for IT. While for teaching, we have it mainly for for someone who's looking for a long-term teaching opportunity or someone who's looking for a short-term teaching opportunity. So when you click on that link, you can learn more. Now, now that we understand what our personas are from looking at them, now it's time for us to understand how we can sell it. So first, the first one I showed you was short and midterm OGTA. So how can we sell it? So this kind of persona, in short, is an EP who's still in school, usually first or second year, and they have no or very little experience and are looking to gain experience abroad. Uh, then it's very important to sell to them short-term opportunities since experience isn't required for them. Um, and even if it may not be paid, gaining that experience can help them land that dream job in the future. So it's very important to convince them that, okay, maybe it's not the most um, attractive opportunity. Uh, it, is, it may not be paid. However, it's a short-term opportunity, so it's quick. And it's this perfect opportunity where you can gain experience and then be able to land that dream job in the future. And some countries that actually offer short-term is Turkey, Romania, and Brazil for to name to name a few right then we move on to the next persona for a mid and long term ogta persona uh, this ep is graduated in the last year of school uh, they have at least one year of experience or maybe or may even or maybe or may have even more uh, and they're looking to begin their career so they have the experience they're not looking to start getting experience they're looking to boost their career begin their career working long term somewhere Okay, so it's important that you be re realistic with them and find opportunities that match your skills and experience. Yes, because they may have experience, uh, doesn't mean they can go everywhere they want, right? It's very important to understand the EP's profile and, and make sure that their CV and their profile are tailored and match the opportunity that they're interested in or that may be available to them. And that's why it's important to propose multiple offers to increase your chances of getting accepted. Uh, I recommend three to five applications per EP. And here are some countries that you could promote. Czech Republic, Belgium, Germany, and India all have long-term opportunities that are fairly attractive. Okay, then we move on to short and midterm for OGTE, so for teaching. Uh, this EP is similar in school, usually first or second year. Teaching is now usually what they study from what we've noticed. And they're looking to gain some experience abroad or they're looking to um, have an adventure, right? So that's what's important to sell them that adventure aspect. You know, you're going for a teaching opportunity. It may not be relevant towards their actual, to what they're studying, but still teaching is leadership. They can still gain valuable um, experiences from teaching. And it's something that uh, rec recruiters and employers would actually be, uh, would actually would really like when, because they know that you're someone who is able to work with many different age groups and has built that leadership um, and resilience that teaching, that teaching gives you. Right? And here are some examples of, of countries that are very popular for short-term teaching opportunities. And lastly, we're going to talk about mid and long term. This is the most popular and this is usually that what we see the most. Uh, this EP is graduate or in their last year and they want to be a teacher. They, they want to be a teacher as a career. And they have at least six months of experience working with children or teaching themselves or just or teaching. Uh, so it's very important to sell them an IR partner since they have a lot of teaching opportunities. So 
Focus on our IR partners because we can ensure their safety and the quality of their exchange because we have very good communication with our IR partners. And we know that they have a lot of opportunities that are available to our EPs. And it's most important that the EP has experience working with kids because if they don't have any experience working with kids, even if it's short or long term, uh, or any teaching experience at all, it's they have a very, very high chance of getting rejected. So it's very important they have some experience working with kids. If that's short term, even some something, even a daycare is good. But for long term, if they're, t if they're applying for a career, it's very good to have some teaching experience. Um, and of course, for teaching the EP, it's very important for the EP to be outgoing, to be outgoing, talkative, etc. Because that's very important for uh, for a teacher to be outgoing uh, so they can interact really well with their students. And these are some countries, again, that have long term teaching opportunities. Okay, so as you can see, this is a little bit more about uh, our buyer personas and uh, persona based selling. And I hope this was very useful to you. Thank you.